let's take a look at the tenth and final figure from 2020's BMR 1959, Barbie, coming up after this. Okay, it's still in the box. Hopefully everything's okay. Took me so long to get these from Mattel. I will never order Express from them again because apparently regular postage is way faster. Who knows with what's going on in the pandemic, with the mail system. All I know is it took me so long to get this package and it cost me more. You've definitely seen this girl by now. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I hope that the eyes are okay and everything. This is what the box looks like. We have just recently, probably in the last couple of days, they're starting to show up on Amazon. So you can finally buy these in Canada. They come in these shoebox packages that are really nice. Love the artwork. I think the artwork is darker. Definitely have to do a review of all 10. And also, in other BMR news, there's going to be more of them. It was announced that there are three more on the way. Oh, she's so tiny! She is the first petite maid to move. I'm pretty sure that's true. This is what she looks like in the box. Blue background to complement her orange outfit. Love the tissue paper. I also think that that's printed darker. But we'll have to see that in an upcoming video where I look at everything. This tissue paper is ripped in two. I don't think I did it. I think when it was packaged that that happened. I guess that doesn't matter. And man, she's a tiny little thing. We're gonna have to compare her to the others. Cute, cute, she's super cute. Wow, I better put my glasses on and uh, take her out. I think this is probably my favorite outfit for mixing and matching. I think these pieces from this outfit are the best ones, the most versatile ones. She is small though, so I hope that they will fit. I think when I first opened these, I tried to save all of the plastic tags and holders and everything, but I'm not gonna display them in the box. Because they're cardboard, they're not really great for displaying, per se, but I do love the boxes and I've definitely saved them all. Craft paper is something that I love all natural. I love the black and white artwork too. Here's the uh, collection of nine other BMRs I have in this tote here. We'll have to pull those out at the end to see what the different sizes are all about. Let me show you the stand. I guess you'll have a smaller clip. I broke one of these, which makes me really sad, but I haven't been using them. But I do really like these stands. They're big, they're chunky, they're very modern, and the translucent Holes are my favorite type. Here we go, here she is. She's got a tiny head. Ooh, here's something I don't like. We've got a fastener stapled into her shirt right there. That's not cool. Hope her body is big enough that these pieces will fit on other people. I'm not sure about petites. That's gonna be in the other video too where I compare. I'm gonna mix and match all of the outfits. That'll be a fun video too. I guess I could do many videos putting these clothes on standard Barbies as well. And just making one video that I wanna do is just making normal outfits out of these crazy outfits. Just by taking one or two pieces instead of having them all together can make these outfits great. Like I say in all these videos, these are runway. This is not something that people would necessarily wear on the street. They're just more theatrical for the runway. That's what they look like to me. They definitely are growing on me over time. The more I get of them, it's really cool to see a whole cohesive collection. And it, they just look so great as a group. All right, here she is. This is what her face looks like. People are having problems with all of the dolls and how Mattel is printing them. They say that they're pixelated. I actually really like how they are coming on. I, I guess I like the gloss. I'm a big toy fan. I like toys. So I guess people don't like how unrealistic it is. She's got some purple baby hairs. Her hair is purple and pink. There's a few different tones in there. And it's all tied up in little buns. Kind of messy. It's really tight. I 
really tight. Don't think it's necessarily gel. Maybe it is because it is tight. Still frizzy, messy. I guess that is okay. Definitely there in the back. She's got those gold earrings. And I love this Nana blazer. It's super 80s. It doesn't have shoulder pads, but it's cut right across and it looks like it has shoulder pads. It's oversized. It's a pretty awesome piece. I like how the stitching is done on the inside. Let's remove it. Her hair is purple. Complementary color of purple is yellow. Her outfit is orange. Complementary color is blue. So she is popping in this. I don't know what you call this. It reminds me of a houndstooth. It's just such an 80s black and white checky plaid. It's got some beige running through it. I really am happy with this. I love how it's made. These are really high quality dolls. Tags. Now every single one of the second wave of these came with sports bras on. That's kind of weird. Velcro in the back of the bikini top. Velcro in the back of this. It is a leathery material. I hope that it ages well over time. 1959 stamped on the skirt. Earrings also. BMR 1959. Can they be removed? Oh, they can be removed. They're not held in with fasteners because this is an adult collector toy. I'm not sure if it says adult collector anywhere here. I'm going to take out her earrings. I'm going to take off this top and we're going to examine her body. Here's the craftsmanship of this pleathery top. The skirt is made in the same way. I think that these will fit on. I hope they fit on a WWE body. That'll be a fun video to do. And here are the very sporty sneakers. I love that they're not painted. Pop art awesomeness. That's why I like this. I apologize for anybody who likes more painted on details. But hey, this is what I like and I'm so happy that these are made this way. So we got these joints and she's small and cute, movable, flexible joints. It's exactly the same as we see with all of the other made to move dolls. Really poseable. Let's take a look at her foot. Oh, her foot is tiny, ridiculously tiny feet like Barbie has. That's my biggest beef with Barbie is that the feet are so ill-proportionate, but it does make the shoes look not as awkward when they're on. Oh, her fingernails are pink. They usually match the inside color of the box. They're usually the complementary color of the outfit. But pink on her. I don't think it's the purple. Maybe it's the purple. I guess she's got pink in her hair too, though, so. Cute, cool, awesome, cute, love it. Hope you love it too. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to put her clothes back on and compare her to the sizes of the other ones. Hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Let me know if you want to see a, another video where I can pair these more in depth and switch their clothes. I'm not going to do that now. I know I really want to, but I'm not. And whoa, check out the size difference. And I mean, I'm holding her up a little more because this girl is in her platforms or her high heels. But there is such a difference in height. Oh man, she's petite and she's tall. Hey up there, hi up there. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I can't help it. I'm gonna put this jacket on her. This actually could be really good. That's one thing that I really wanted to do. I wanted to take all of the black and white pieces and put them on one doll see what that would look like but yeah there's definitely versatile pieces in here it's just that they've got them all on together so it's a little too much uh, yeah that jacket looks like it fits a standard doll really nice this is gonna be one of my favorite pieces of clothing I love a business suit I love a tweed coat 
yeah, that looks super, super good. All right, she's awesome. She's cute. She's adorable. Can we take a look at her face again? Cute, cute, cute. I love the diversity in here. I love this line. It's really fun, and it's only grown on me more and more and more. Can't wait to see what else they do next. They better put out more boys. You're definitely wanting to check out my BMR skin tone comparison video where I check all of the Ken Fashionistas to see which ones do match with them. You'd be surprised at the results.